All right, welcome back to the Whiskey Time Show. Today is a special episode of Whiskey in the Woods, and we have a guest, very special guest here, because we're doing an Asia show about Asian whiskeys. So we found our very own Asian, uh, Jua. Correct. Correct. Okay, good. From where nice are you from? To meet you. From China. From China. Okay, great. That's wonderful. And we have. Uh, three Asian whiskeys. We have uh, Hibiki Harmony and uh, the Kavalan uh, Classic something, I don't know. Yep. And Ohishi. Ohishi, Japanese, which is a uh, surprise whiskey. It's a surprise try. whiskey. But it'll be good. Uh, so we're going to start with Hibiki from All Japan. Right. So Excited. let's pour some of these. And I'm Devin. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so we're going to start today with the Hibiki Harmony from Japan. You can see it's a very beautiful bottle. It's multifaceted here. On the bottom, it has 24 facets that represent the 24 seasons of uh, Japan. And the top is 12 facets to represent the 12 seasons of the uh, Western culture. So we have a blending of the the Western style whiskey production with Asian style harmony from Japan. It's a blend of 10 different Asian uh, Japanese whiskeys from the um, Suntory, Suntory distilleries. They have a number of different distilleries. Oh, Suntory is like in the movie. That's right. Lost in translation. Sun oh, Suntory wow. Times. Suntory Times. Anytime is Suntory Times. Suntory Times. All right. So let's give this a smell here. Let's, mm. How's the nose? Sweet. Sweet? Yep. Mmm, chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate? Mm-hmm. No? Mm. Some extremely bitter chocolate. It's really good. Hints of alcoholic chocolate? <laughs> okay. Mm. All, right. All right, cheers. <laughs> extremely smooth. It's very smooth. It's okay. <laughs> of course. It's a little bit of caramel. <clears throat> I'd say it's pretty mild, actually. Pretty mild. It's, yeah, they like to uh, drink this with ice, a little bit of ice, um, Japanese style. We don't have ice, though. We don't have any ice in the because woods. Because we are in the woods. <laughs> but the color, it's pretty light colored. Oh, I'm already done. <laughs> okay. Mm. So. Mm. I have some notes, the tasting notes. Oh, yeah. I will read them from this paper that I printed out. Luminous, delicate, a transparency that unveils complexity. Yep. Color, <laughs> amber. Nose, rose, wow. lychee, hint of rosemary. Rosemary. I, some I, rosemary? I smell the rosemary. Yeah. yeah. Mature woodiness and sandalwood. Get any sandalwood from that? Hmm. Now that you mention it. Palette. Honey-like sweetness, candied orange peel, and white chocolate. Definitely orange peel. I can taste it. And the finish. Subtle, tender, long finish with hint of... Mizunara. Say what? Which is a Japanese oak. This time our research team is on it. All Japanese right. oak. Japanese oak. Mm. It's much different than American oak. I can taste that. Mizunara. It's Mizunara. delicious. Mizunara. All right. All right. All right. So we're moving on to the Kavalan. Wow. It is a Taiwanese distiller. And the name refers to the indigenous people of Taiwan. I'm sure that they would love this whiskey today. Our research team says they would like it. Mm. So, all right. So I'd say this is a little bit more oh, caramely color. Dark. Yeah, yep. it's a lot more it's orange. Quite dark. Wow. Let's take a sniff. This is very sweet smelling as well. Oh, it's mild. Yeah. Actually, it reminds me of the Glen Morangy Nectar d'Or, the really? smell. This 
The smell is lesser than the uh, Centauri. And this is sherry casks, I believe? No idea. No idea. So you didn't say? Uh, my research team says yes. Sherry casks. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Try it out. We're going to cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. It. So, How do you say cheers in Chinese? Wow, ganbei. Ganbei. That means you empty it up, bottom empty up, it up, bottoms up. All right. But we don't do that. No. It has a hint of sweetness. Don't you think it's so? It's a little caramel sea salt. Yeah. But it's kind of bitter. A little bitter. It's a little harsh too. It's not it's as smooth <coughs> as the Suntory. It reminds, it's like kind of like a poor man's Glen Morangy Nectar Door. Really? It's, it really smells like it. And the it's, taste is almost there, but then it gets really bitter. It goes down very easy. All right, let's read the box. <clears throat> the tasty notes, the color, it's lively and passionate amber. So that's jumping out at you. Passionate. The, yeah, this one is normal amber. This one is passionate amber. It's flirting with you, Zhao. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try some Come more on. on this. Thing. Okay. Amber. The nose, it's a really complex nose All according right. to the box. It's clean, elegant, floral, pleasant, and refreshing fragrance of the butterfly orchid. Oh, butterfly orchid. Uh, fruity and seductive. Beautiful. With hints of mango, tropical fruits, mango in particular. I smell orange peel again. <laughs> Pear drop, vanilla, coconuts, and suggestions. This has a lot of stuff in it. Oh my it's, gosh. It's amazing. This is like a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get you? That's oh how they get my. you. If you read so that, healthy. if you read that, you're gonna It's so gonna healthy, buy this. you know? Yeah, yeah. This is the most healthy whiskey we've had. Yeah, I would say this is healthier than wine. You know? This is like really fruit salad-y. <laughs> okay, so you guys smell all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, that was just the nose? That's just the nose. Okay. Take us to the tasting notes. How's it taste? The palate. A hint of sweet mango juice. Mango juice. With oh. that spicy complexity and gentle warmth on a medium, oily, and citrus finish. Wow. The orange peel that came out. Again, orange again, peel. Again. Citrus. The box. Yeah. Citrus. All right. And that's and it. That's it? Well, we could read their, their little uh, tagline here. Cavalon Distillery, making spirits seriously. 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 Yeah. All right. It's to no, that note, seriously. To seriously. Seriously. It's no joke. All seriously. right. Seriously. All right. I have this wonderful bottle. You probably wonder why there's a big rock here. I have been wondering that. Yeah. Well, Is the because we're camping. The Oh Ohishi whiskey. Ohishi in Japanese means big rock. Oh. Ah, now you know why there's a big rock here. It's not that big. Well, I mean, relatively speaking, it's kind of big. I mean, compared to a pebble. It's bigger than a smaller well, rock. Well, anyways. It's smaller than a house. <laughs> this whiskey is kind of special. I never had it. I just found it. Because in, in Luke, Bedmo. Luke brought it. Oh, you, did you bring it? Hey, this is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This the oh, guest, the guest, so, so guest whiskey. I, I knew that. I knew yeah, that. yeah. You, you, the research <laughs> team should have told you that. <laughs> you Sometimes they cut me out of the loop. You I didn't, didn't, I didn't I read the, the, the briefing. I just, I just no, they, you missed the meeting. Oh yeah, the product <laughs> manager's fault. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, anyways, this is distilled by a distill distillery founded in 1872. Quite old. Wow. Yeah. They used to make sake and sauju. Uh -huh. But why are they making whiskey now? I don't it's know. popular. Oh, because it's popular, exactly. Exactly. Uh, this whiskey is special because it's distilled 100% with rice. Instead of rice whiskey. Oh. Rice whiskey. The fun part is in Japan, they don't call it whiskey because it's distilled from rice and it's bottled, bottled it unfiltered. So mm -hmm. in Japanese law, that's not considered whiskey. However, they age it in sherry oak. So by American standard, it's whiskey. Good enough for me. Good enough for you? Let's drink let's it. Let's open it up. Let's try it out. All right. Never had it, but let's open it up and see. 
the question to the audience is, is this a whiskey or not? We'll find out. Post in the comments Bio, section. Bio <laughs> expert panel here. All right, you All can right. really tell by looking at the bottle because it has a dark green bottle and <laughs> it's a uh, 42.1% alcohol. Wow. All right. Um, big rock. So it is. It looks similar to the last one, the Cavallon. I think I poured a little bit too much. That's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, our, it's our last. <laughs> good. It's, it's the last taste <laughs> of, the, of the day. So, But it looks good. Okay. I'm not getting much from the nose. It's yeah, there's definitely not a lot from the nose. It's since it's dis distilled in in a uh, stainless steel instead of uh, copper. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Because the yeah. the color from the rice is actually very transparent. Um, and they they probably, probably want to do it in stainless steel because of that reason. Well, we should ask our research team. Yeah, we should. All right. yeah. I can taste a hint of rice. This is much different than, wow. the, other, than the other yeah. two. This is pretty good. Yeah, you can definitely taste a hint of rice. But if no one said this is rice, I would never know. Yeah, you would because you're on the whiskey show. That's true. The mm -hmm. whiskey time show. But if you gave this to me and said try this, uh, rice, I don't know. Okay. Well, I, you know, as a guest, I don't have a extensive budget to do research. I don't know what kind of food is in there, but definitely some hint of orange peel again. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Um, orange peel. And the bottle didn't say so. Yep. What else in there? Chocolate? Mm. 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 It's fruity. Fruity? You it's, mean? I think it's citrusy. Maybe, orange peel. Maybe Could mango be orange peel. blossoms. Mango blossoms? Hibiscus flower. What do you guys think of like the hint of rice? <clears throat> I can, well, well, I can. But rice doesn't really taste like much. Hint of rice. I have no idea. Rice taste. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit ricey. It's, it's fermented, you know. It's 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 pretty good actually. Like yeah. It. Good choice. Good selection. Gracias, señor. Gracias. And all of them. It's still 100% from rice. In more detail, it's actually 30% mochi rice and 70% uh, uh, normal rice. I, I thought I was tasting different rices in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you were, buddy. All right. <laughs> okay, so there's we don't have there's no. So the what is the verdict? Is the big stone? <coughs> is the big stone whiskey or not? I like I like this one the best. Tastes like whiskey to me. Tastes like whiskey. So the verdict is, <clears throat> I like whiskey. I like, I like the Oishi the best. What do you guys like? I do think so. I, yeah, it's Since, something different. Yeah, yeah totally good, different. Good and taste. all right, so what is uh, how much does this stuff cost? Well, this uh, this is the begin beginner version. Obviously, it's uh, seventy five bucks from Batmo in your local store. Um, we're not endorsed by Bevmo. We are not, <laughs> obviously. Um, yeah, actually, they're all around 70 bucks. That's mm -hmm. a good, good right. comparison. 75, 75, 70. Think, yeah. yeah. Sure. So they're all along the same range, but I think this has a little bit special, you know, character to it. Yeah. Because it is still from rice. I, I agree. Let's go with the rice whiskey. All right. The rice wins. Big Stone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Big Stone. Cheers, Pixel.